Little did good people from Subaru know that they were designing the archetype family vehicle of the future when they gave their midsize sedan a suspension lift some three decades ago. Fast forward six generations and the Subaru Outback still handles like a car, looks like an SUV, and transports cargo like a station wagon. The 2024 Subaru Outback receives its share of improvements over the outgoing models, but fails to rectify all of their problems at the same time. So stay with us as we delve through the advantages the new Outback holds over its rivals, as well as its less desirable characteristics that you simply can't ignore. Let's start things off with the pros of the 2024 Subaru Outback. Number 6. Unparalleled Practicality Incorporating the best of both worlds, the wagon-like crossover prides itself on being the benchmark for practicality in its class, and rightfully so. Boasting a spacious cabin is only the tip of the iceberg as far as this particular Subi's practicality goes, as the Outback also throws in as much cargo-carrying capacity as you can probably imagine a vehicle of its size would. Due to the Outback's inherently different design compared to the vast majority of its class, it boasts plenty of space for both the front and rear passengers. The second-row passengers, in particular, enjoy a pleasing 39.5 inches of legroom. Even so, the Outback barely sacrifices any cargo space as its trunk is more than capable of backing up to 33 cubic feet of cargo. Flop those spacious seats back down and see that figure rise to as much as 75.7 cubic feet. In essence, the 2024 Subaru Outback's cargo-carrying confidence rubs off on its owners, and families in particular have come to appreciate it. But the confident demeanor of one of Subaru's most popular models doesn't dry up with people and cargo hauling. It carries over its ability to transport the contents of its cabin over tame and inhospitable surroundings alike, which brings us to its next clear-cut advantage. Number 5. Surprising Off-Road Capabilities and Improved Wilderness Model Counting the raised suspension and standard symmetrical all-wheel drive as its defining characteristics since day one, the Subaru Outback has naturally been one of the more capable off-roading vehicles in its class over the years. However, resting on its laurels caught the Outback off guard as more and more of its competitors started paying attention to the customer's needs and offering dedicated off-roading versions of their own. We're now at a point where every SUV or pickup truck worth its salt simply has to offer an off-road capable trim level at the very least, and Subaru answered the call with its rugged wilderness models. Having made its debut on the Outback a couple of years ago, the wilderness trim has since migrated to the Forester and Crosstrek and established itself as a permanent player in Subaru's lineup for the foreseeable time. The Subaru Outback Wilderness brings a wealth of off-road focus improvements to the table, although ground clearance is at the forefront. With 9.5 inches of elevation compared to the conventional Outback's 8.7 inches, the wilderness models launch the Outback into a full-blown SUV mode. That's far from everything, however, as suspension tweaks, all-terrain tires, protective cladding, and skid plates alongside better approach and departure angles all play their role in transforming an already capable off-roader into a truly established one. Atop that, the all-new 2024 models receive a styling update that sees their front ends in line with the rest of the lineup, a praiseworthy move since they now look a lot better than before. The 2024 Subaru Outback Wilderness doesn't forget to offer convenience and tech gear that further differentiates it from the rest of the lineup while simultaneously justifying its higher price tag. Unique water repellent upholstery, extra off-road driving modes, and even the 180-degree viewing angle front view monitor all come in handy on the trail in their own way. Of course, even the most off-road capable Outback in history, such as the recently introduced Wilderness, can't hold a candle to some truly dedicated off-roaders like the Wrangler or Bronco. Then again, they're not meant to. The same could be said about the respective model's practicality compared to the Subi, which is a much more balanced vehicle overall. Number 4. Comfortable Ride in Cabin The Outback's cabin isn't only spacious, as we've established before, but comfortable and well-appointed as well, at least compared to other vehicles in its class. Sharing the platform and interior with the legacy sedan, the Outback boasts high-quality materials. Unlike its platform donor, however, it sports a higher seating position, giving the driver better control relative to the surroundings. Unlike most conventional SUVs and crossovers, the Outback truly rides like a car, certainly more so than your run-of-the-mill crossover. Combined with superlative spaciousness, this particular amalgam of strong interior-focused suites constructs a compelling argument about the Outback being one of the better appointed non-luxury vehicles money can buy, aside from comparative counterparts for Mazda, for instance. Number 3. Lots of Features 
Being well stacked with gear is one way to sway buyers these days, and Subaru has found a way to piece together a nicely rounded package at relatively affordable pricing. Moreover, the Japanese automaker offers its second best selling models and no fewer than nine trim levels of varying degrees of tech savviness, performance, and refinement. So there's pretty much something for everyone. The base models might not be the best choice here despite being competitively priced, but every other trim level above the entry level provides dual zone automatic climate control, a power adjustable driver's seat with heating, and a larger 11.6 inch touchscreen with a mobile hotspot and standard connectivity features. Moving up the lineup, the Outback opens up more luxurious options, culminating with genuine leather upholstery, a standard sunroof, and state-of-the-art technology gear that's typically optional even in true luxury brands. Number 2. Top Safety Marks the 2024 Subaru Outback is also stacked with advanced electronic safety features including automatic emergency braking, active lane control, and adaptive cruise control standard even in entry-level models. Meanwhile, blind spot monitors and rear cross-traffic alerts are standard across most of the range, while surround view camera is exclusively reserved for the range-topping trims. While advanced driver's aids typically don't dictate the actual safety scores of a vehicle, the 2024 Subaru Outback receives the highest possible marks from both the IIHS and the NHTSA reassuring doubters along the way. Number 1. Powerful Optional Engine Despite not looking the part, the 2024 Subaru Outback is, or rather can be, one peppy crossover thanks to an optional 260 horsepower, 2.4 liter, turbocharged flat 4 engine. It comes at a $10,000 markup at the very least, as it's exclusively reserved for the upper half of the Outback lineup, but doesn't come without a host of other improvements included with the upgrade. Also, the base engine tends to lack excitement, and this is the only remedy available at the moment. The rest of the powertrain consists of Subaru's longtime hallmark all-wheel drive and a more recent trademark CVT transmission, which, despite helping with fuel efficiency, robs the Outback of most of its potential as a fun-to-drive vehicle. Despite its obvious qualities, the 2024 Subaru Outback still doesn't represent a surefire choice, and some of its low points cannot be ignored. Number 3. Uninspiring Base Engine Contrary to the Pepe 4-banger, the entry-level spot is reserved for a 182-horsepower 2.5-liter flat 4. It's an adequate engine that offers certain advantages in terms of fuel efficiency first and foremost, but barely much else. It's also paired with a lifeless CVT gearbox, which further diminishes its appeal. But at that point, hardly anyone even expects much else from Subaru. A manual would be nice, especially since the automaker still offers it in performance models like the BRZ or the WRX, but the chances of that happening are slim to none. Number 2. Thirsty Turbo Engine We've established how the 4-banger is the way to go for anyone looking for excitement and sportiness, but that comes at a cost and not just a literal one. Rated at 22 mpg in the city, 29 mpg on the highway, or 25 mpg combined, the turbocharged engine turns out to be quite a taxing affair. Things are even worse for the prospective wilderness off-road outback owners as its elevated stance and chunkier tires further erode these already dissatisfying numbers. The final figures for a turbo-powered wilderness outback are two points lower on average, one point in the city, and three points in the high-speed highway category, defeating the purpose of having a powerful engine in the first place. Meanwhile, it would be in Fair not to mention the base engine's 26 mpg city, 32 mpg highway, and 28 mpg combined ratings, as they're at least a class above those of the optional powertrain. Number 1. Steep Price Inflation for just under $30,000, the entry-level 2024 Subaru Outbacks are a fine choice, but adding another $2,000 or so for the premium trim is advisable in almost every scenario. The Outback Premium's improvements are arguably worth even more than their price tag, but that's where this theme stops at its tracks. The next in-line limited models require another $5,000 atop the initial $2,000 for the premium trim, and things only go south from there, or north depending on the perspective, since prices sure ain't coming down. A fully stacked Outback Touring XT model with an optional turbocharged engine will set you back a whopping $44,000, which might not sound like much to some, but if you remember that you could have bought something like an Audi Q5 for the same amount just a few years back, it suddenly becomes an eye-opener. The Subaru Outback is still one of the most practical crossovers in its class, and its off-roading credentials have finally received a seal of approval in the face of the new Wilderness trim. Subaru's traditional bestseller is as good, if not better, than it ever was, and its strong suits far outweigh its less desirable traits. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.